Hey guys, today we're gonna make homemade banana pudding from scratch to close out the soul food series. Let's go! The first thing we're gonna do to make our delicious banana pudding is we're gonna take our sugar, cornstarch, and a little pinch of salt. A pinch of salt is literally just what it sounds like, a pinch of salt. So you're gonna take your fingers and just take a little pinch like that. And we're gonna whisk it all in a large pot, but make sure it's not on the stove yet. <laughs> After you're done whisking, you're gonna take your milk and pour it in to the mixture very slowly while stirring. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask because I definitely needed some help. I mean, my sweet mom is helping me out over here. I got you. And then we're going to take our mixture to the stovetop and cook it on medium heat until it's steaming, but you have to stir it the whole entire time you're cooking. So let's get this party started. <laughs> it's definitely my first time making pudding, any kind of pudding. So I'm a little bit nervous, but shout out to Divas Can Cook for this recipe because it looks amazing. Don't let this boil, okay? It should not boil. You wanna take it off as soon as it starts thickening into like the pudding texture. So let's keep stirring. You can find banana pudding in almost any household in the South, especially during like holidays or reunions or any of that. I removed it from the heat, so now we're gonna add our butter and our vanilla and stir it in. <laughs> After it's all stirred in, you're going to put it aside and let it cool completely. And you're also going to want to stir it regularly because it will thicken more as it cools. While our pudding is cooling, we're going to add in our heavy whipping cream to make our whipped cream. And we're going to add in our vanilla and maple syrup and take our hand mixer and start on low and then gradually increase to medium speed. Gradually increase. Gradually increase. Start gradually increasing. <laughs> start. Yes! Your whipped cream is done. We're gonna cover it up and put it in the fridge. For the next part, we're going to need a sliced banana, but I have a little fact for you. Did you know that it's easier to actually peel the banana from the bottom than the top? Wow, look at that. Wow. It looks a little weird, but it definitely makes it a lot easier. Welcome to the assembly line. The first thing we're gonna do to make our delicious banana pudding is layer 18 wafers at the very bottom of your dish. Or if you have a bigger dish, just cover the whole bottom. Then you're gonna layer some bananas on top. And then we're gonna add in only half of our cooled vanilla pudding. Just half. Just half. And then again, more wafers and then banana. This is gonna be delicious. rest of the pudding. And then we're gonna add 
our whipped cream from earlier. Multitasking. How are you feeling about it? I just want to eat it after all of this hard work. <laughs> And then you're gonna take your vanilla wafers and just crunch them, crush them all over the top. <laughs> crunch or crush? Crush. Forget the crunch. <laughs> I just probably said that because when I crush them, it sounds like a crunch. <laughs> yeah. The banana pudding is finally done, and that means it's time for our Soul Food Series feast. We've got chicken wings, we've got collard greens, we've got sweet honey cornbread, and we've got banana pudding. So, I think it's time to taste test all this stuff. Let's see who I'm gonna choose as our professional taste tester. Maxwell Jones! Okay, first, you're gonna try. What do you wanna try first? Alright, he's going for dessert first. Alright, okay. he wants to try the banana pudding first, so let's get a nice little bite for him. It's okay. <laughs> what do you wanna try next? Cornbread. He's going with all the sweet stuff first. <laughs> What are you saying about it? Of course, 11. And what do you want to try next? The wings. Mm. That's good. It's just gonna be mm for everything. <laughs> and then last of all, collard greens. <laughs> He's like, Jesus is feeding me whole piece. Is it hot? It's hot, but it's good. All right. That ends it. The rating is 11. So it's surprising because I'm not a big fan of vegetables. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked the series. Make sure to like and subscribe.